All right, this video is going to show you the steps to do the experiment to figure out how the length of ramp affects the work needed to raise an object from the ground up to a certain height. So just so you know, you're going to want to take pictures throughout this experiment so that you can use them in the procedure part of your mini report. It's going to be a bit of like a photo procedure. Um, and as for the ramps that we're going to be using, we're going to be using four lengths. And we have two boards, but we're going to use Two of the, we're going to use each of them twice, and the lengths of ramp that we're going to be using are one meter, which is this board. We're going to be using three quarters of a meter, and since we're not going to cut the board, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take a meter stick, put it on the edge of the board, and measure and make a mark where 75 centimeters is, or three quarters of a meter, so that you know where to put that, um, that board, where to put it on the stack of books. We've got the 50 centimeter ramp here, which is also going to be our 25 centimeter ramp. And you see I've already marked it by measuring that that's 25 centimeters. Um, just so you know, we're also going to be using a, some kind of a cart, a physics cart, um, maybe with or without mass. But many of you will have this one. You might have a blue cart that you'll have to put a mass inside of. In any case, um, because these carts are so large, we won't be able to roll it up the entire length of every ramp. So. We've got a couple of things that we have to do. Sometimes you might just roll it up as far as you can get and then stop. You don't want it to roll off the edge and fall off, so just stop it there. Uh, sometimes, especially for this really short ramp, you'll see that the cart is actually longer than 25 centimeters. So that if you have a 25 centimeter ramp, the cart basically, just by holding it there, you've already used up the whole ramp. Another thing you're going to notice on this particular board with this ramp is to get the 25 centimeter mark up to the top of the stack of books, it's going to require that half of the ramp actually overhang the, the edge. That's okay. That's basically, we're ignoring that. It's like that part's not even there. Um, we just don't want to cut it since we wouldn't then be able to have a 50 centimeter ramp. So that's the basic setup. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is take a stack of textbooks and set it up so that it's about, about 10 centimeters high. There I am measuring, confirming that that's a 10 centimeter high stack of textbooks. Um, next thing is take one of your lengths of ramp. Um, I'll start with a one meter, although you can start with, a, with any one. And I'm going to set it up here. Put it so that it's right on the edge. And um, grab the physics cart next. Oh, one thing you should confirm with the, uh, with the ramp is you should confirm what the, what the ramp is and just note that it's the same material the same surface for this one as it is there and on all parts so that that's not going to interfere at all with the results of the experiment if you're measuring the, the force going up here. It's equally smooth, both ramps, all sections of it. All right, so I'm going to set that back up again and leave it there. Next thing I want to do is I want to just uh, find the mass of this cart because that's one thing that in this experiment should always be the same. Um, it turns out because the materials we're giving you, a lot of these controlled variables, you don't actually have to think about, but we still want you to identify them and realize that this is always going to be the cart that you're using, which is going to control the mass that you're actually lifting up the ramp to the high surface. So head over to your scale, put it on the scale, find the mass, record it, and you're ready to go. So we're going to be using the force sensors that we used in the previous experiment uh, with the levers and with the friction. And you can go ahead and zero that by opening Logger Pro once this is hooked in, holding it in a, the approximate position that you're going to be using it, pushing the zero button uh, at the top of the button bar in Logger Pro, and letting it show zero newtons. There should be a little uh, string loop somewhere on the physics car, and you want to hook the force sensor to that. Set it up so that the back, the back wheel is somewhere down near the bottom of the ramp. And then you're going to just try and pull it as slowly and stably as possible up to the top once the other person on your team has started the play button in Logger Pro um, to record the force measurements. Once it happens, you roll it up nice and steady, nice and straight. And as I said, don't roll it past the edge of the ramp. Just leave it there. And now you'll have gotten a nice red line of uh, measurements of force. The same way that we did in the last experiments, you'll do as well. You'll actually just select the area of the red force curve that looks the most stable, and you'll use the statistics tool, it's the 1 over 2 button, and you'll use the median, and you'll record that for trial one of whichever ramp you were doing, 
and measuring the force that it took to move the car for one meter up the ramp. Um, you're going to need to do that again, trial two, and then one more time, trial three. All right. Once you've got those three trials, you know how to find the average, add them together, and then divide by three. Record that in your table as the average as well. And you've now got the average force to find the work. You take the force, multiply it by the distance. In this case, the distance is one meter. Make sure it's always in meters so that it's consistent. When you have the 50 centimeter board, you want to use a distance of 0.5 meters so that you can compare the, the work fairly. All right. Um, you've done three trials. You've done the average. You've calculated the work. Next thing you need to do is pick a different ramp length and start over. Repeat the steps. So in this case, I'm going to use 75 centimeters or three quarters of a meter. And to do that, I move the ramp, just slide it up so that this mark for 75 centimeters is at the top of the stack of the books. And start over, hook the force sensor to the physics car, set it up, have someone say go, and then roll it up slowly, steadily. Again, you won't be able to make it all the way to the top, but you've done that. You stop, record the measurement the same way, and you'll be done with the experiment. Just a reminder, you want to take pictures because that's what you're going to need. You can share the pictures with your teammates, but each of you will then write the captions by yourselves to the pictures in your own mini report. Good luck.